I'm ecstatic. I'm really ecstatic. I've been so angry. It's been really difficult for me. Like if anyone, I'd want to hate the police, but I don't. I still respect them. They put their lives on the line every day. I took these shoes with me because I didn't want any other man to have to walk in these shoes. It shows the extent to which they overplayed their hand, right? The, the extent to which they went too far along the lines to manufacture crime. And this is the kind of case where, frankly, the first disclosure was a 192-page summary, and the first time I read it, I thought exactly this, what happened today. That was the first impression. So that's how powerful the impression is when you look at this stuff. And then we've just spent a year basically parsing over every aspect of it, and this is the result, a powerful indictment of what the police did in this case. They're going to have to reintegrate into society. They've both been in custody now for almost exactly 37 months, right, since this offense uh, was committed on the July the 1st, 2013. So work has to be done to get them back on their feet, and, and that's being discussed and worked out now. The judge has mentioned the problems the defense raised, and they are present. They, these individuals had some rather odd plans. Unfortunately, they also had some very realistic, very simple, very doable plans that they did not pursue because the police persuaded them perhaps they should pursue a more complex and entirely controllable plan. That seems to have been overlooked in the judgment and that's a significant problem.